in an online world where every click could be a potential threat and every second counts towards safeguarding your digital life stands a silent vigilant protector welcome to the realm of endpoint detection and response or edia the cutting edge shield in the unending battle against cyber threats did you know that every 39 seconds a cyber attack occurs somewhere on the globe impacting millions annually but fear not for edr is the advanced sentinel ever evolving to outnumber the most sophisticated of digital adversaries as we navigate through the complex web of cybersecurity edr emerges as the beacon of hope continuously monitoring detecting and responding to threats that seek to infiltrate our digital centuries today we are not just discussing a technology we are unveiling a formidable force in cybersecurity we will delve into the heart of edr exploring its mechanisms its might and its critical role in securing our digital frontiers and before commencing just a quick info for you if you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility then search no more simply learns postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT university in collaboration with ec council should be your right choice through our courses you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts network packet analysis ethical hacking network security and over a dozen others this course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% of average and no prior programming experience required and 1 plus year of work experience is preferred if you are passionate about making your career in this field then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below so let's get started without any further ado so first we'll understand what edr is so let's start at the beginning endpoint detection and response is a cyber security approach focused on continuously monitoring end user devices detecting suspicious activities and responding swiftly to eliminate threats from its inception as a simple antivirus to its current sophisticated form edr has transformed into a proactive defense mechanism so this was about edr now we'll see how edr works so let's delve into the mechanisms of how it functions endpoint detection and response operates on a simple yet powerful principle continuous monitoring and real time response but what does this look like in practice let's break it down it starts with detection edr systems continuously monitor endpoints for any signs of malicious activity this isn't just about scanning for known viruses it's about understanding normal behaviors and spotting anomalies whether it's an unusual login attempt or an unexpected file encryption edr is always watching always analyzing when something suspicious is detected the response mechanism kicks in this can make many forms from simple alerts to automatic isolation of the affected device in some cases edr systems can even remove or contain the threat automatically stopping it in tracks before it can do more harm but edr isn't just about reacting it's about learning and adapting through continuous monitoring the system gathers data over time learning from each interaction and becoming more adept at identifying threats this means that the more it's used the smarter and more effective it becomes and let's not forget the human element while edr systems do a lot of the heavy lifting they are often supported by security teams who analyze alerts investigate incidents and refine the system's parameters this partnership between human and machine is what makes edr so powerful edr works by continuously monitoring endpoints detecting threats through sophisticated analysis responding in real time to contain and neutralize those threats and constantly learning from each interaction to improve its defenses it's an ever vigilant ever adapting system designed to keep your digital environment secure and with edr you are not just defending against the threats of today you are preparing for the challenges of tomorrow it's a dynamic proactive approach to cybersecurity that ensures your network is always one step ahead so this was how edr works now we'll see the key features of edr solutions so starting with the key features The number one feature is behavioral analysis. So it monitors normal user and system behavior to establish a baseline. It allows the system to detect deviations indicating potential threats, including new and sophisticated malware types that traditional signature-based methods might miss. And the next feature is threat hunting. So proactive search for hidden threats within the system. So it goes beyond waiting for alerts, actively seeking out. and identifying potential threats before they manifest into actual breaches ensuring a more secure environment now come to the next feature 
that is incident response. So it automates or guides processes for addressing detected threats. Quick and efficient response reduces the impact of attacks by isolating affected endpoints and initiating remediation, minimizing downtime and damage. So this was the next feature. Now moving to the next feature that is real-time monitoring and reporting. So continuous surveillance and analysis of the network and endpoint activities. So it provides immediate alerts or suspicious activities and comprehensive reports for in-depth analysis. That is crucial for timely threat detection and long-term security strategy planning. Now moving to the next key feature that is integration with existing systems. So capability to function cohesively with current security and IT infrastructure. So it ensures that the EDS solution enhances and complements existing security measures, providing a more robust defense without disrupting existing workflows. And the next feature is scalability. So the ability to grow and adapt to the expanding needs of an organization is scalability feature. As your business grows, so do your security needs. Scalability ensures that your EDS solution can handle an increasing load and more complex environments without compromising protection. So this was about this feature. Now moving to the next that is user interface and usability. So the design and functionality of the EDS systems user interface is about this feature. A user friendly interface ensures that security teams can effectively navigate and utilize the system, making it easier to manage and respond to threats, thereby enhancing overall security efficiently. So this was about the key features. Now we'll see how to choose the right EDS solution. So choosing the right EDS solution. So the first point to consider is understanding your needs. So assess the size of your network, the type of data you handle and your existing security infrastructure. Identify what's most critical to protect. So moving to the next point, that would be integration capabilities. So ensure the EDS solution integrates seamlessly with your current security setup to create a cohesive defense without adding unnecessary complexity. Now moving to the next point for consideration that is scalability. Choosing an EDS solution that can grow with your organization, adapting to an evolving threat landscape and expanding network. And the next is user interface and management. Opt for a system with an intuitive user interface and clear reporting. Your team should manage and understand the system effectively. Then we have performance and accuracy. Consider the solution's detection rates and false positives. It should accurately identify threats without overwhelming you with false alarms. And the next is cost consideration. Evaluate the total cost of ownership, including initial purchase, implementation, ongoing maintenance, and unnecessary and necessary upgrades. Aim for the best value. And now moving to the next point, that is vendor reputation and support. So choose a vendor with a strong track record in cybersecurity, robust support and a commitment to continuously update their solutions. So this was about the points for choosing the right EDS solution. Now moving to the challenges and considerations. So the first challenge you can face is managing false positives. So false positive occur when the EDS system mistakenly identifies banning activities as threats, leading to unnecessary alerts. This can cause alert fatigue among your security team and divert attention from real threats. So this solution for it, you can regularly review and adjust the system sensitivity and alert thresholds. Employ continuous training and tweaking to ensure accuracy and efficiency. And the next challenge is resource requirements. So effective EDR management requires a team with specialized knowledge in cybersecurity and the specific EDR tool in use. Finding and retaining such talent can be challenging. And the solution for this can be, you can invest in training for your current team. Consider hiring external experts or partner with managed security service providers to supplement your internal capabilities. Now moving to the next challenge, that is privacy concerns. So EDS systems monitor and collect a lot of data from end user devices, raising concerns about user privacy and data protection laws. So, so we can ensure transparency about data collection practices obtain necessary consents, implement strict access controls, and comply with all prevalent privacy regulations. Now moving to the next challenge, that is integration and compatibility. So EDS systems need to integrate seamlessly with existing security infrastructure. Incompatibility can create gaps in defense and increase complexity. So there's a solution for this. You can choose an EDI solution that offers flexible and broad integration capabilities with your existing security tools and infrastructure ensure it's scalable and adaptable to future changes. So in conclusion, endpoint detection and response, EDR stands as an indispensable component of modern cybersecurity strategies. 
offering not just a defense mechanism but a proactive approach to identifying and neutralizing threats. It's clear that while EDR presents certain challenges such as managing false positives, resource allocation, privacy concerns, and integration complexities, these can be effectively navigated with the right strategies and solutions. Embracing ADR is not merely about adapting new technology, but also fostering a culture of continuous vigilance and adaption in the face of evolving cyber threats. As we move forward in this digital age, understanding and implementing EDR is not just an option. It's a fundamental step towards ensuring robust, resilient cybersecurity defenses. And there you have it folks. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.